Hey, what's going on, guys? Benny Childs, founder of the Teach Me to Fish FX Trading Community. And I'm back with another video. I know it's been a little minute, um, but we are here on the uh, Micro E Mini for the NASDAQ 100 here on the monthly chart. And I just want to do a, uh, a overall uh, outlook, if you will. Um, I know we're well past the middle of the week. Uh, but I want to share with you guys where I believe the market is going. All right. Um, I believe that here on the monthly, this is our overall uh, dealing range. This low to that high right there. Uh, why do I say that? Your dealing ranges are typically uh, your areas. Um that has been or has uh, swept liquidity um, and uh, let me do this for you guys if we take a look here at NQ right um, this is the low that shows up on our December delivering contract uh, for the micro e mini that's the low and here's the high uh, this low swept liquidity all right this is the last low um, that if we look it actually sweeps liquidity this low didn't sweep liquidity it um, rebalanced this low didn't it rebalanced this low didn't this low didn't all right so this is the last low that uh, swept liquidity, right? And this is our highest high there, okay? So that is our overall dealing range, okay? So uh, it doesn't have to, um, but I believe it's very possible for uh, this market to go down to 13.653. Uh, 25 uh, before we hit all-time highs I've been saying this for the past few weeks um, everyone thought that because we reached up here uh, that we were going to go ahead and take all-time highs and make all-time highs which is still very much possible and you'll see when we go down to uh, the lower time frames um, that is still very possible but I just don't think that there are going to allow the market to hit all-time highs just yet okay all right uh, so now let's jump down to the weekly and look at some of our short-term information that we have all right short term we have this low and this high that is our uh, dealing range okay um, All right, uh, we can see here that this low swept liquidity there, this high swept liquidity here. All right, so this is our short-term dealing range, and our equilibrium for our short-term dealing range is right here at 15.172.25. Uh, I don't know when. Um, it's very possible. We have seen NFP uh, come in. Uh, with some major volume before in the past um, over the past several years NFP really um, hasn't pushed like that but it's very possible that we could see uh, NFP push all the way down to 15172.25 right just to get us um, uh, through to our uh, discount zone okay um, we can see that today drop down to the daily we can see that today we did sweep down into well not today it was uh, Monday uh, we swept down into the consequent encroachment of this uh, weekly uh, fair value gap okay all right and we did get a reaction there all right um, another thing I want to mention here on the weekly, we had this weekly order block 
that the past this current week the past three weeks you know besides this current week has respected that order block uh we had we have had no candles to close outside the body of that candle okay so for all uh, purposes uh, I believe that we are in a cell program let's drop down to the daily all right what do we have here all right so we have this high what was the last bullish candle that created uh, well that was created before this high here all right and what do we have we had a bearish candle close below that body all right uh, so for me that's the uh, change in state of delivery all right we are now in a cell program we have been in a cell program for a long time all right if you go back from my past uh, videos that's what I was telling you guys hey we're in a cell program all right um, today um, well actually let's see this is Wednesday Tuesday Monday Monday confirmed this candle as a order block today re retested it and dropped back down sell program all right we have our um, bullish candles being respected okay they're not being closed above we are in a sell program all right let's drop down to the 12 hour okay what do we have here on the 12 hour all right what my eye quickly draws to is if we I'll take this if we look here we have a inverse 12 hour FVG all right the inverse has been respected right no candle closes above the inverse guys we are what in a sell program all right that's on the 12 hour all right um we also have here recently a what you, you guys tell me what what we have here what am i about to say I know you see it. We have another, if I can get this right, but we have another inverse 12 hour FVG. All right. So price is telling us that we are in a sell program. Drop down to the four hour. Same thing. Inverse FVG respected we're what we're in a cell program inverse FVG All right now it's very possible that we could retest this shoot back lower maybe targeting the short term weekly dealing range equilibrium all right nfp is coming out i think uh, that on friday we will still respect um uh, the sell program right but it's very possible that we will see nfp come back sweep some liquidity all right we have open liquidity up here We have open liquidity here 
open liquidity here, open liquidity here. Um, all that NFP could come up sweep before pushing the market down lower. All right, I'm saying NFP, but I think you know it's the market makers. All right, it's the big players. Um, if we look right here, this is what I was actually targeting today, but never really got it. We have what do we have here, guys? Excuse me. And let me change this to this. We have equal lows right here on the four hour. I'm going to put four hour. All right. So it is very possible that we could see the market come down. Sweep these equal lows, push back up higher before we push down, right? Or we could um, see it, the market push up, and then just push straight through those equal lows, um, aiming for this equilibrium here on the short term, weekly, daily, uh, excuse me, dealing range. So let's uh, let's go down a little further and. Take a look at the one hour. Let's see what the one hour is doing for us. All right. One hour. Wow. One hour between close to this new open has given us a volume and balance. All right. Now, if we, if the market, because it is already tapped into it, if the market respects that overnight, then uh, where did my equal lows go? Where did my equal lows go? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong, wrong chart. That's where they went. All right. So let's drop down to the one hour. All right, so we don't we don't have a volume imbalance there. So, but I'm thinking that we're coming we're coming down these equal lows. It, it took its time today. I had to, had to flatten out my positions because of the uh, Apex account. Um. So, but yeah, I never. I never saw those but I had a pretty decent day today so guys all in all we are in a sell program we could uh, see the market uh, push up grab some liquidity do some rebalancing uh, but ultimately first stop for me short term weekly dealing range equilibrium after that 13653.25. All right, you heard it here first. If it happens, <laughs> if it happens, then I'm just the most phenomenal trader you guys have ever seen, right? <laughs> uh, nah. um, but uh, yeah, so that's my take on the market. I am very uh, much bearish, um, have been bearish for the past few weeks. Been calling it out. Uh, we, chopped, we chopped around a little bit. I, I got chopped up, you know, as well. Uh, but the market is kind of finally starting it to push lower and uh, you know with Christmas around the corner and the new year um, I don't think we're gonna get like a just a, a drastic drop uh, I think you know that would cause a little bit of mayhem so I don't think that the uh, market makers will actually uh, drop us down drastically but guys this is all you have to you have to think think like the sharks right they want to what? Sell high, buy low, right? They want to sell at a premium, buy at a discount. This is our discount. This is their discount right here, right? That would be their discount. So why wouldn't they push the market down further uh, to buy at a greater discount, right?
we all would do it. So why wouldn't they? So uh, that that's what I'm thinking, right? I'm I'm bearish. Um, I will be watching mainly uh, the 12 and four hour uh, fair value gaps um, to uh, get an idea on when I can get into the market uh, to sell. Um, if we take a look here on the daily, well, let's go here to the weekly. I had um, 15.855.75 as my first target uh, for the week, and it's already been hit. Okay. Um, so, um, if we take a look here at the daily, what did today's candle do? Today's candle, sorry, today's candle swept this high, right? And it what? Closed below. All right, so, and it's already been hit, but my draw on liquidity would have been there, all right, for tomorrow. But it's already been taken. All right. So we went external. We may go internal. Let's see. What do we have internal? Internal we have. This 12 hour. Inverse. guys let me know if this is making sense to you all right but we do have this 12 hour inverse that we could see the market come up and tap into before hitting lower let's take a look at the four hour and we have this four hour inverse and we may have some unicorn set up somewhere but the market could come into that four hour inverse all right we did go we swept external all right so i'm looking for the market to come internal we can come up there which inadvertently we have to pass through here, right, to get to the four hour, or we have to pass through this 12 hour IFUG inverse. All right, so either one of these two, I'll be looking for a uh, market structure shift uh, or actually just a change of state of delivery on the lower time frames. But all in, all in all, guys, we are in a sell program. I would recommend that um, a lot of people recommend that you don't trade on Thursdays. So Thursdays are uh, historically uh, consolidation days that kind of, you know, seek and destroy type setups um, just to kind of get everyone off off kilter uh, before NFP comes. So you may want to. Uh, if you're not a strong trader, just go ahead and sit out uh, for the rest of the week and possibly come back next Tuesday uh, to get into the market. But I, if you do trade, I would be looking for uh, short setups, right? Or if you're a kind of counter trend trader, right? Uh, or counter market flow trader, then go ahead and trade your long setups. All right, um, but me personally, I will be looking for uh, confirmed uh, short setups uh, to trade with the market. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I hope this video was insightful. Uh, if you found it insightful, uh, please like the video. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, I'll talk to you guys another time. All right, you guys stay well. Bye.